Welcome to Morbid Smile Art. My name is Kelly Frank and I am so glad to see you again. So today what I wanted to do was take a look back at one of the pieces I did a couple of months ago. This is the Torn Prince from 13 Ghosts. It's a remake of a William Castle movie and I really enjoyed the aesthetic of this movie and I really had a good time working on all of the 13 Ghosts. I thought I'd walk y'all through the process since I have the full video up, it's nice to be able to have it in a time lapse and you guys can sort of see it sped up and I can talk about the process and reflection because there are some things I maybe would have done a little bit differently now that I have been working on stuff and my styles kind of evolved. So I started off with a rough pencil sketch of my drawing. I wanted to draw the Torn Prince since he was a baseball player who wanted to get out of the small town he lived in and he was never able to do that because he died in a horrible car accident. I wanted to kind of bring some of that rebellious teenager look to him but also him being like very angry. He was still so pissed off about having been killed early and never being able to leave the small town and you can really get that across so I was experimenting at this point with a lot of bleeding effects. I hadn't quite gotten to some of the later pieces that I would work on with the 13 Ghosts where the bleeding effects um, made a huge difference. So for example, like when you look at the Great Child and the Dire Mother, I'm really proud of the Great Child because of that illuminescence that you get in the background um, underneath that skin tone. And I hadn't quite gotten to that point yet with the Torn Prince. So I'm working on, I'm kind of looking back and I'm thinking I could have probably done a little bit more with his skin. I could have given him a little bit more of this internal glow a little bit if I'd used some different materials. One of the things I like to keep in mind with this piece though is that it and the Withered Lover, I was working on these while I was waiting in a cubicle I was, my sister works during the day and, and we were basically getting ready to go to the um, Atlanta Aquarium that day. So I was kind of hanging out and working on art projects in between while she finished her work day up. And while it was a good time and a good opportunity to get stuff done, I, if I had had access to some of my Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors, I feel like I could have given this a little bit more oomph that it needed, but it still looks really good. I'm really enjoying the line art, the coloring, and even though it looks a little bit washed out in places around the jacket and stuff, that kind of fits the character. And I, I still really like this piece, and I didn't think I would looking back on it. I'm still so bothered by how grainy the video is, but that's because I filmed this on Twitch and I used my phone to do that and it really lowered the quality. So when I downloaded it off Twitch, this was the quality I had. So that's, that was cool. Now I gotta say, I had such a good time with those blood effects, just the spattering and everything. And also his pose and facial expression, man, I had such a good time with it. But that blood spatter, man, that, that still makes me really happy looking at that because he had road rash basically. He was in a car accident and got dragged on his face. And you can tell that from the injuries. Just gruesome, brutal stuff. Do you guys ever go back and revisit art that you've done like earlier in the year like this? I think it's really instructive to look at every piece that you do as a potential learning experience. And you're going to learn something at the time, and then you're going to learn something when you go back and take a look at it later. And that's why I've really gotten to where I want to film all of my process in a good quality so I can come back and I can look at them and be like, okay, that's what I was doing then. Okay, that's how I got that effect. How would I do that now? Would I make the same choices? And oof, I'm still really happy with how nicely that turned out at the end. I love the line art. I love his expression. 
And yeah, this is a perfect Halloween piece now. I'm really happy that I did these. Even though I did these back in the spring, I'm coming back and revisiting them now. And I'm like, dang, that's some nice spooky, spooky stuff. It makes me happy. It makes my little spooky soul happy. We're still doing a lot of festivals and shows right now, and I'm still just really, really busy all the time. Follow, subscribe, all the good stuff. Uh, check out my Patreon if you're interested. I have lots of other neat stuff there, including full-length videos of some of my work so you can see step-by-step step, uh, in real time how everything came about. And take care and stay spooky, and I will see you all next week.